sometime about a week ago, I came home from uni and I actually had so much work to do and I just was really not feeling the motivation and I got into a mood and I just decided to start styling and organizing my desk. It has been on my 2019 goal list, completely untouched almost since I moved in six months ago and I was just in a mood where I was like, right, that's it, I am doing this. And I only bought three new things, well technically two new things for the desk. I already owned the vase but I'd only owned it for about six hours and I actually didn't buy it that morning with the intention of doing the desk, it just kind of happened. So I bought a lamp and a rug. Everything else was completely styled and organized with things that I already owned, which is really awesome. And if you ever want to sneak peek into all this sort of stuff or you want to just see some home things, then definitely go over to my Instagram and let's jump back a week. So this is my desk as it is and I haven't really done much to it since I moved in and in January I said I wanted to get through and organize it. Haven't really had a chance yet and this afternoon I was sitting here about to do some writing and I just want to rearrange it. I might, you know, purchase some new storage things and, and things to style it up with in the future. So I thought I would start my desk journey here with you. The thing that really annoys me the most is my computer being here on the corner. It makes in here cut off and shadowed and I don't really like it. So I'm thinking about moving my computer to the middle of the desk and opening the space up a little bit more and then I'm not really sure what else I just need to have it a little less cluttered and a little bit more stylish So far I love the computer in the middle of the desk. It just opens up the whole space and I never really decorated this little section of the kitchen bench because I felt like it was always being cut off. To the left of the computer I have this little vase with some flowers in it. I do not want anything more on the desk just here. I think this is enough and I really really like it. These flowers are from a wholesale company called Rogue but the Yarralumla Nursery in Canberra stocks them and that's where I got them from and I still actually have the tags on them and I need to take them off. And then this vase isn't actually a vase. It is a drinking glass and it's from South Melbourne Markets. I actually picked it up this morning. I just thought it was really cute and probably a pretty good size for these flowers, although the flowers might be a little bit too big for it. Even if it's just going to be a drinking glass of mine, I really love it. Then I have these three frames. I have my YouTube play button, which has nice chunks of blue tack on the bottom because I used to blue tack it to the bottom of my shelf so it would never fall over and smash. And then I have this one that has a green leafy image in it. If you have been watching me for years, then you know that I had this in my old apartment. And then I have this other frame and I really wanted to put something on the wall and I was gonna get something new but then I just pulled these out to dust them and I was like why don't I just get new pictures like I'll go on Etsy right now have a little bit of a look print something out and then I could stick them up on the wall and create like a mini gallery wall so I think I'm gonna add that to this afternoon's project I went to Etsy to have a look for some prints, the downloadable ones. They're really affordable and really easy. I found a nice floral one, but I thought maybe it was too much floral. Then I found this abstract one that's a little bit more interesting and I quite like the colors, but it's such an easy way to get nice prints for your home and then you can print them out, take them to Officeworks if you want to get it professional or you could just do it out of your printer. And I ended up finding two prints I think that were quite affordable. So these are my little prints and they were so affordable as well. My printer is terrible but I can't expect much more for like a $30 printer. I have these little lines through them if you guys have any suggestions as to why my printer is doing that that would be great. I'm thinking I might just take the files to either Officeworks and get them professionally done or even to the university and laser print them so that they'll be neat and clean but for now and for today it'll do so I'm going to pop these into these two frames and then we'll look at maybe putting them on the wall. I was just thinking about how this one is an exact match for my ottoman which is great. I'm hoping it's going to look okay over here on my desk next to these sorts of flowers. I don't really know if these tones go but you know eh, for now it'll do. So here are the pictures here and I really quite like it. I just don't like this one here. I think it's too cool toned for the warmth of the flowers. So I think I need to find something that's a little bit warmer to go in there, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's quite nice here on this side of the desk. It's always fun when you can put things together with stuff that you already have. This is 
is where my desk is at. I've had so many questions about this timed screensaver on my computer. It's called Fleeclo or something. I downloaded it ages ago. I'll try and find the website. It's pretty cool. And as you can tell, it's 5.44 in the afternoon and it is actually starting to get so dark in here. And in winter, it's going to be like pitch black at this time that I'm thinking about maybe getting a lamp for just here. So right now, love this side. I love the candle, the flowers, really simple, really clean, loving the wall. Also, if these look like uneven or a bit wonky, they're not. It's just the camera because I'm using a slightly wide angle lens here, so it distorts everything. Part that I really need to work on is this bit here. I don't know if I like the books, not feeling the pencil case. I have these two candle holders that I got from H&M, but one is actually really bent and wonky. And then I put in some of these green candles from H&M, which I feel like actually really match the little green up there. So I'm starting to enjoy that a little bit more. I might change the colors eventually, get new candles, change the frame. Like it was only a $3 print. So it's really easy to change and I can do anything I want at any time. And then I've got my little storage boxes, which I'm definitely keeping because they're quite useful. And I feel like that's where I'm at. I might need to get a lamp though. I'm having a little bit of a look at lamps and I'm on Ikea and there's this really nice gold one. I really quite like that. I had a look at Kmart, but they don't really have much. They have this brass look table lamp but it's not really directional. It would just kind of light the whole room. Whereas I think I want something that can point at whatever I'm working on. It's a few days later and I just went to Beacon Lighting and I picked up this light. The photo on the box is chrome, but it's actually in black and I'm actually having a really hard time trying to decide what kind of lamp I want. I don't know if I want something plain and simple like this or something more decorative or something that's gold or black, I don't know. But it's really cool because like I can try it out and if it doesn't quite work, she said that I can return it. So I'm gonna set it up and hopefully it's the perfect one. I think I like it. I think I'm gonna keep it. I just really like that it's a directional lamp as well. It's actually an LED lamp, so you don't need globes. And apparently they're supposed to last like 10 to 15 years, at least that's what the lady said. So hopefully it works and it does the job, but I actually really quite like it. I like that it's plain and black and I just think it balances out because it's taller than the computer. And it's... the only thing is, is because these flowers are so dark and I love them, I feel like I need something darker or even burgundy or darker green on this side. And like I had these candles, but I just don't think they suit and I think if I have three, well, three tall black things, like a lamp and two candles, it's probably just too much. That looks weird, doesn't it? Does that look weird? Oh, I don't know. I hate that one of those candle holders is wonky. It really annoys me. I just had an idea that this container, which is a bit dusty, from H&M, because it's a dark green color, this just has all my international currency in it. That could actually look really good on the desk. I'm gonna try this one out. I definitely think that combination looks a lot better. I like the dark little container. I think it's really, really cute. This is where I'm at so far and I really like it. I think the green in that photo sort of matches this green of the container. I love the lamp. I like my little flamingo statue. My flowers, I absolutely love the flowers. And I think it's all just coming together really nicely. I'm feeling like maybe I need something else on the wall up there, but I'm just not sure. Like I don't want to overdo it, but I really quite like this. Here is my final desk reveal, and I'm so excited about how it all has come together. So I'll start with the ground. The rug is from Kmart. The chair is also from Kmart, but from maybe a couple of years ago. And <laughs> the rug, the rug, um, the throw is also from Kmart. It's like a greeny knitted kind of throw. It's pretty cute. Then I have my desk, which is this gold and glass desk from Freedom. I've had so many questions about this before. It is from Freedom, and I think you can still get it. Then over here on the right-hand side, I have these flowers from Rogue. And then I have this little glass down here that I got from South Melbourne Markets. I have a Byredo candle that is from Mecca. And then I have this glass box that has nothing in it, which is from H&M. Does anyone have one of these? And what do you put in it? I kind of like that it's empty, but I mostly use it for Instagram flat lays. Then I have my desk 
top map. I have a little mouse pad with my mouse. On this side is my little two drawer set that I got from Officeworks. And I did a bit of organization. I took all of the pens and pencils out of the bottom one, put it in the top one. And now I just have all the books and paper and a few pens that used to be up here. And I think it works for now. I really would like to get in and clean out this a little bit better though, because it's a bit of a mess. And then up top, I have this cute little keychain that is from Brit & Co. I'll try and link as much stuff in the description as I can. This container, which is full of all of my travel money. And then I have this flamingo statue that I got from Adairs. This is my lamp and I love it. This is from Beacon Lighting and it's just a little touch up the top and it turns on and it's so cute. I love it. I have two books down here. I have my day craft bullet journal that's black and gold. And then I have my sleep journal from Kiki K. I just like the gold and the color scheme in all of that. And then up the top here, I have my little gallery wall. So I have my YouTube play button this little one that says but first tea and then this other one that's just kind of a weird mush of greeny colored shapes and I still need to get these reprinted at the uni because you can still see the lines through them but it's fine for now and yeah that's pretty much it oh and I did also style up this little thing down here with one of my devil's ivy and then my string of bananas which is growing like crazy and then my candles from H&M that's pretty much it that's my new desk and I am obsessed with it I love it I really so that's my desk styling and organization video I really hope you have enjoyed it do let me know what your favorite part is I think I really like the flowers I think that's maybe my favorite part or the little gallery wall that I put together I don't know I just love it all it feels so good now so I hope you guys have enjoyed it up the top here you can check out my last video down the bottom I'll leave a link to another one and I'll see you in the next one